Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about domain of don't control in CSO.NET Windows form. So let's go to toolbox and here uh, you can find the domain of down. So here, so about the domain of down or display a single string value that user select from the list items by clicking there by clicking up and down button in the control. So let's uh, drag uh, this or uh, control. So here, so if a uh, user uh, can select uh, up and down items by clicking this option here, this one, this one. So let's uh, uh, see one example of uh, domain or down. So double click on form and you have to first uh, uh, we need to add one namespace using uh, a static here after write to system dot windows dot of forms and here after domain of down. So this namespace required uh, for a domain of down control. Now let's uh, go to a uh, form a uh, load event and uh, here I'm going to uh, take one or class the name is domain of down item collection so here I'm going to create the object so if you like to know about domain of down item collection take the cursor at this point so I can encapsulate a collection of object for the user domain of down so it encapsulate a collection of object now this is the list is the object of domain auto item collection and here after let's use this and here domain auto dot here items so here domain auto so this is the name of or uh, this control domain auto and uh, here after let's go down so right here I'm going to add the items. So by using add method. So add here or uh, add here I'm going to add most beautiful cities in the world. So add here first is blue case. And here after next dot add next Buddha past. Now here after next to most beautiful city, I'm going to add row list dot add. Now next to beautiful city Amsterdam. Here list dot add method again. So this add or next to city Lisbon and here after list dot add so add here next beautiful city Prague and here after list dot add now next most beautiful city me or me so this the uh, uh, items that I added in a uh, list. So list is the object of domain of term item collection. So let's execute here. So see at your domain of term it's so uh, over displaying. So if you take uh, if you click at your down or symbol so see at here first is cities Bruges so that here it's a display Bruges next is Budapest Rome Amsterdam Lisbon Miami and here when I execute here so it's a display domain of town so this not look good so for this at here I'm going to change at here or oh, text property 
so let's use domain auto here auto dot or text equal to in double quote writing most or beauty for city also this all will display them So CRTM most beautiful or city. So text property or uh, I return most beautiful city. Here yeah, it's so displaying. Now uh, here after this is not in ascending or descending order. So if you want to display or uh, add here when I execute and I will see all the cities in uh, ascending order. So here Bruges, Budapest. So first that must become Amsterdam. So Amsterdam here after. So to making a city in ascending order. So let's go to the form here. Select form, and here you can find to somewhere sort. Here one property is uh, sorted. So by default it's a false. So make it to true. So true. Now here after execute. Now the city, let's check the city. First is Amsterdam, here after Budapest, here Budapest, less one. So the city is now in ascending order. And here after, there are various property of our domain opto. So at here you can increase the size modifier. So if you change at here, read, read only to first to true. So you can't do anything. If I go if I execute here, so at a abstract only for reading, we can't do anything for like go uh, when I'm going to try to or, or delete, so it's not happening. So this is read only property there, so I'm going to make it false. And you have to sort it size increase here, text if you want, then you can change the text property here. And uh, from here you can also change the text property. So I am going to change a uh, city only. See right here, text property change. So by coding you can change the uh, text property. So it's a runtime and here uh, it's a uh, whenever I change the right here, it's a uh, directly affected. Now here after dark property, and if you uh, wanna go for a uh, background color. So here you can change the background color also, back color window. And here after I'm going to uh, show you one important event for domain or term. So let's go there. So I have selected item change. When I change uh, whatever item, so that must be affected there in the form. So let's uh, double click. So I have selected item change of domain or term. It's open. And here, let's write to add your text class and here write to domain opt-on dot text. So, when that event fires, so whatever the text inside domain, so that display into the form. So, see, at here, it's a uh, you know, most beautiful city. So, when I click, so I have selected item change event fire. So Amsterdam, then it's a display Amsterdam here also. Now, next is Brookes like this. So, this is the one example of domain opt on or control in CSR.net Windows form. So, this is the one beautiful control and simplest control. So, I hope guys, this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.